Hi, and welcome to Athens, a city that has been an epicenter of human civilization for over 3,000 years. During its golden age around the 5th century before Christ, the city was home to famous philosophers like Socrates, Plato, and Pericles, who still influence our society today. In this tour, we'll explore important historical and cultural sites, from the stunning Acropolis to the peaceful National Garden, and dive deep into Greek heritage. Our journey begins in the Agora of Athens. This was the heart of ancient Athens, which served as a central public space where citizens gathered for a variety of activities. Throughout its history, the Agora was the focal point of Athenian democracy, where citizens debated, legislated, and discussed the issues of the day. This is basically the place where democracy was born. Located northwest of the Acropolis, this open area is surrounded by various important structures, such as the Stoa of Atalos, the imposing elongated building seen in the distance in front of you. The Stoa of Atalos is a reconstructed ancient portico, originally built by King Atalos II of Pergamon in the 2nd century BC as a gift to Athens. The Stoa was designed as a two-story building, featuring a double colonnade with Doric columns on the ground floor and Ionic columns on the upper floor. It served as a major commercial, social, and administrative center, housing shops, and public offices. In the 1950s, the Stoa of Atalos was faithfully reconstructed to its original specifications by the American School of Classical Studies at Athens, using funds donated by John D. Rockefeller, Jr. Today, it houses the Agora Museum, displaying artifacts found in the Agora, and provides visitors with a vivid picture of ancient Greek life. The reconstruction offers a rare opportunity to experience the scale and architectural style of an ancient Greek stoa, making it a significant educational and historical resource. Within the Agora, the Temple of Hephaestus is the best preserved Greek temple, largely due to its conversion into a church in the 7th century. Originally dedicated to the god of metalworking and craftsmanship, its Doric columns and fine sculptures have withstood the ravages of time. We move on to what is probably the most famous classic temple in the world, the Parthenon. <laughs> 